not sure how easy it is to see on here, but there's the very first little sprout from a Brussels sprout. Look, the last two cherry tomatoes are starting to sprout. It looks like the only one out of all of the tomatoes that didn't come up was this big boy right here. And honestly, for a two-year-old seed packet, the germination rate should be somewhere around 70%, give or take a little. And eight out of nine have come up, which is almost 90%. So I think that's pretty awesome. I made my first <laughs> New Year's resolution fail today and it's February 3rd, but honestly, I'm not sorry. I absolutely love those mugs and I know I would have regretted it with every fiber of my being if I didn't buy them. So as many things as I've seen that I would have loved to buy and as many ideas as I've had for the house already this year that I've said no to, I still think I'm doing pretty good. So finally a proper hello for this vlog. Um, we just finished working on building my storage shed for my boys' bikes, for a motorcycle and a dirt bike. Um, we have everything done except for the door. So we're gonna finish up the doors tomorrow and then we're gonna slide it back into place. Um, we have to kind of level the ground up a little bit um, for the back of the shed and then we're gonna be done. But we decided to take a break so we can run and grab some dinner. I will see you back here tomorrow and we will finish up the storage shed and then mostly I think it's gonna be a, you know, tidying up the carport and the patio and putting everything away and kind of organizing things, so. I will see you back here in the morning. Getting ourselves a sushi dinner. After all that work, girlfriend's paying. Yay. <laughs> we do have some battle scars. I only have one that needs a band-aid, and then I had another one that didn't. Hold on. He had one band-aid wound too. Didn't you have another one that didn't need a band-aid? I think so. <laughs> Good old sheet metal. Yep. One of my favorite salads ever. It's a seaweed salad. It is so yummy. This one's my sweet potato roll. And then this is my veggie roll. And then those two are Michael's. I have just completed my usual Sunday morning ritual of filling up the gas tank and picking up my groceries. I left a little bit later this morning because Menards doesn't open till eight on Sundays and I, I need to stop there and pick up a couple of things for finishing up this shed. Um, just some rock to help level and then something to help drainage so when the water runs off of the slope of the roof instead of like being in the bottom of my storage shed, it will actually run out into the ground where our drain pipe is. Um, so I need to pick up those two things. And then uh, Michael should be up by that point and he's gonna grab his coffee and head over and we're gonna get this done. Um, I think I have decided that this video is going to be kind of a bonus third video and I'm going to schedule it for Friday instead because with the projects that I've started now that it's warm season, sort of, <laughs> at least temporarily it is, <coughs> um, 
I'm ahead. So this one would not go out until next Sunday, so a full week from now, and the week hasn't even started yet. So then anything I do this week wouldn't come out to the middle of next week. So I just need to kind of get myself back on track. So I think I'm going to make this a bonus video. And I may need to do that more often in the coming weeks because I started this channel back in like early November, about the 1st of November. And with cold season, I'm just in the house all the time. I don't really do much. I kind of go into hibernation, to be honest. But with the start of garden season and I'm going to be out and about and doing things again, um, I'm going to have a lot more to record. So if I want to keep my vlogs around 30 minutes or less, I may have to add a third day of the weekend, but we will see. I may just do it as needed. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to chit chat because I know this is already going to get long with the things that I need to do. We're going to finish up just the doors and get in the shed in place this morning. I'm going to start trying to get things organized and kind of straightened the best that I can. I may have to wait. I have to pick up Logan later and um, I may let him move his dirt bike because he gets precious about things and if we move it for him he might pitch a fit so <laughs> I might just let him take care of moving that into the shed um, and then from there I need to get one of my meals made for the week so I will probably finish off this vlog doing a leek and pea soup recipe so that is the plan so I will see you whenever we get to Menards Well, this is the aftermath. <laughs> oh, I've got some cleaning up to do for sure, but we've got the motorcycle at least inside the shed. So task one is complete. Oh, and we got the tarps off the greenhouse, which you already saw. So I fixed the door. Now I've got to stake that back down, but now it's just a matter of cleaning up, tidying and straightening, and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do here too because I had to dig up these are hostas and then a couple of uh, coral bells and I have to figure out whether I want to plant those along here or give them to my mom or what the heck I'm going to do with them. So getting to work.
right, I need to find a place for those tarps because they're giant and they take up a lot of space. And this one is all leftover pool stuff. And I've decided I'm not getting another pool. And if I was, I would have just screwed myself anyway, because that shed is sitting partially over the area where I used to set it up at. So I'm gonna take all the pool stuff out and I'm gonna get rid of it. And then the tarps will go in here. I'm thinking about moving these two beds. These have my strawberries in them, and this one is just a little too close to the house, so it doesn't quite get enough sun. So I think I might take those two and relocate them over here. And I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do yet because I can turn this the other way, and I should be able to do all three beds right next to each other here, I think. I also have to figure out what I'm doing with this bird bath because it used to sit in the center over there with the hostas and stuff around it. So we'll just see how everything turns out. This is not something I'm gonna plan. We're just gonna wing it and see what happens. And that clears up some space over here, which I've honestly been wanting to do because this lilac bush has gotten pretty big since I put it out. And so it just kind of was crowded over here. So I like not having crap sitting around it. So I don't know what I'll do over here. If I'll put anything else in here, I might go ahead and move the hostas over here, but we'll see. Still need to move that back and anchor it back down. But I think we're we're pretty well set with everything else. I am gonna, oh, you know what? I'm still zoomed in. Ha! I am gonna move this back over here for now. Um, but everything else is pretty straightened out. Uh, the barbecue grill is going to the farm as well. I don't know if I'll be able to take it this trip because I have the car pretty loaded with lumber and soil. So there may not be room for it, but I'm gonna try. And then I've got to figure out for sure where I'm putting this, but everything else is set. Um, when Logan gets home, and I can have him move his dirt bike in here. I can then take this and put it back in the shed. So that will be gone as well. And then I've gradually got to get this other stuff. Those are Michael's that I need to send back with him. This is um, the cart that is like the kitchen cart that's going in the cabin at the farm. This fireplace mantle is going in the cabin at the farm. These boxes I have been saving because grandpa's gonna be moving here soon. Um, but I don't know when, like the house is on the market. It's not sold, it's not under contract yet. Um, but Michael did say, you know, I can get as many boxes as you want from work. So I'm gonna get rid of those things because I'm tired of seeing them stacked up there. And then these boxes are gonna go into the dumpster where his dad manages a business here in town. They have a big dumpster and these are just too big to fit. This is my recycling bin, so they won't fit in it. So we're just gonna take those and put them in there. This is my grocery basket that goes in the back. And then this holds like a couple of little pillow things for sitting on when we are out and um, like restaurants with patios with hard chairs, my umbrellas, just some stuff that goes in the car. Those I pulled out of the little um, storage cabinet. So when we get the dirt bike out of there, it's gonna go back in there. And then that's a dang picture that Logan dragged home that I need to move to the basement when I can get to it again. And then the window for the cold frame is behind that. And then these are obviously my mower and then my tiller that are gonna go back in the shed too. So once Logan gets home and we get that dang dirt bike out of there, then I can finish everything else. And then, um, this is probably going to have to stay until I get it painted and the flooring in at the cabin because if I take it out there, I'm just going to have to move it out in order to do the flooring. 
but it depends on how long it takes us to do that and how sick I get of it sitting here. And the same with this thing, because it's a big old heavy box too that is taking up space that I don't like having cluttered around out here. But those boxes are definitely gonna go now that I know that Michael can bring me some and I don't need to keep hanging on to them. But we're definitely making some serious progress. And when Logan's home and we get the dirt bike out of the shed, I will film the rest of this. It is Sunday evening and I just got home a little while ago um, from picking up Logan and it's been an extremely busy day. I've not had much downtime. I just picked up groceries this morning so I haven't had time to make anything and I haven't eaten a whole heck of a lot today just because I've been going nonstop and I haven't been home. And um, as I was making my dinner tonight, I was reading through some comments that I had gotten and um, the video I did a couple of videos back, which is the what I eat in a day as a plant based nutritionist has had several comments and questions. And the comment that I was reading while I was actually making my dinner um, was from someone who works 12 hours a day, even on Saturdays. And, you know, she just can't do this. I get that because being plant based can be very time consuming. And it's a struggle that I've heard a lot over the years. And I'm not at all going to try to downplay that because, you know, even when I was doing some meal prepping to help Michael out, it is a lot of work and you make a huge mess. If you're going to make something for the whole week, you know, you spend half of your day meal prepping and then you've got a gigantic mess to clean up when you're done and it gets old very quickly and it can definitely lead to burnout. So it's not always the best solution. I know it's like go to thing that people will often say, oh, meal prep, then you don't have to worry about it. But I feel like they're not always taking into account the amount of time that meal prep can take. And especially if you're only off one day out of the week and you're going to spend half your day in the kitchen, it's just, it's a lot. And so to the person who made that comment, um, I'm not sure if you're a subscriber, if you're even going to see this, but thank you because you made me realize that it is important to not necessarily only show, you know, the big batch cooking that I do, but to also show what I will do when I'm in a pinch for time, which is exactly what actually happened tonight. And ironically was what I was doing while I was reading that comment, because I got home from a long day. It was after seven. I had no food made, so I needed to just throw some stuff together. And so I essentially just got into the pantry and my freezer and grabbed a little bit from each food group that I wanted and tossed it in a pot. It's not pretty. It's not photogenic, um, but it has vegetables. It has a whole grain and it has beans. So everything but the fruit, right? Um, and so I'm gonna show you. This is what I did. This was my dinner tonight. I came home, I was starving. I was not patient enough to make anything fancy. So I got into the cabinet. I grabbed out a box of whole grain or whole wheat uh, macaroni noodles and I tossed them in a pot and set them to boil. And while it was boiling, I drained a can of no salt added kidney beans and I opened a can of no salt added diced tomatoes. And when the noodles were done, I drained them. I tossed those in with the kidney beans, the diced tomatoes, and about a half a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. I threw in some seasonings and I cooked it until the vegetables were no longer frozen <laughs> and scooped it out and ate it. It took me about 15 minutes tops to make dinner. That was it. And so I just wanted to show that when you are very crunched for time, if you want to be able to eat a whole food plant-based diet or just something that isn't, you know, prepackaged food or, you know, something extremely unhealthy, um, there are ways to do that. And thank you for the reminder that it might not be a bad idea to show some of these kinds of things because this is just reality. You know, most of us, this is a situation that we find ourselves in often. You know, we're hungry, we need food, we need something good for us, but we just really don't have time. And so I want to try to make it a point to show more quick meals like this that, again, might not look the best, 
but they taste good and they serve every single purpose and it's inexpensive and it's doable. So um, if you would like to see more things like this, just let me know and I'm happy to oblige. But anyway, I am going to go finish watching a vlog right now. Um, and then I'm going to get ready for bed because it is 10 after eight and I usually go to bed around nine and I'm up at like five 30. So <laughs> I will probably see you back here more than likely. It's going to be tomorrow on my lunch break when I do make the leek and pea soup. So I will catch up with you then. Hello and welcome back. We are going to make a quick leek and pea soup, which will be my lunch for the next couple of days. Um, and I mean, there's only a few ingredients, so it should be pretty quick and easy. So I'm going to start with getting these leeks kind of washed up and trimmed a little bit. And then I'm going to chop leeks and onion and then put them in. Oh, let me just bring it over. Oh. Put them in my little Dutch oven and then we throw in some broth and the frozen peas and just let it simmer. So it's as simple as that. And then when it's all done, I will take my immersion blender and just blend it all up. So. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to toss these in the colander and give them a quick rinse. As you start getting farther up the white part into the greens, there tends to be a lot of dirt and just kind of sandy, gritty stuff in the leeks. So I want to make sure I get that good and rinsed off before we throw it in the pot. Now I'm going to chop and add the onion. Um, it calls for one whole onion, but I had a half and then probably about a quarter already cut up in the fridge that I need to use. So I'm going to do that and put those in as well. I'm going to throw in some garlic too because I can't have anything without garlic. All right, I'm going to let this simmer until the onion and the leeks start to break down a little bit and then I'm going to pour in the rest of this broth and the peas and cover and let it cook. Thought I would close out the vlog with some lovely pops of spring. I planted a whole bunch of tulip and hyacinth bulbs last fall and they're starting to make their presence known. I even see a little bit of green coming up in here too. I wish I could remember which of these plants were which so I could tell you specifically what that is. I'll have to look it up and then I'll put it on the screen. But. So excited. I can't wait to see all the tulips and the hyacinths blooming here in a few more weeks. What do you think, Miss Emily? Are you going to leave my plants alone this year? Hi, babies. Say bye-bye.